you have ended up on a road either by walking through a forest or your car have broke down on the way back from the cabin on the way over a mountain pass or something like that suddenly you're standing there without much options well you can walk it out if it's not too far but if it's far away you might have to consider spending a night and if you're the last vehicle on that road that Sunday afternoon there might be no more vehicles on that road until the next weekend that bad so I'm going to show you one method to make fire you don't need to be kind of wilderness survival situation it can be in a suburban area or even in an urban area where you can find the same materials so I'm gonna show you how to make fire out of this plow sticks Here in Norway, or in Scandinavia in general, there are no bamboo naturally. But there are a lot of bamboo around, as plow sticks, old ski poles, fishing rods, and stuff like that. And also for um, planting sticks and stuff like that. So, so there are a lot of bamboo around. Even in remote fallen down mountain cabins you might found might find some bamboo as in old ski poles or fishing rods so bamboo's out there so that's why i think it's uh, okay to show you this method too well the first thing i'm gonna do is to split this in half Bamboo splits pretty easy. Now I have these two pieces. One is going to be um, the saw or the piece making the ember. And the other one is going to be the saw blade. The reason why I went to this spot because this has a good solid tree which I can jam this piece between my hip and a tree so it will be stable so what we are going to do now we are going to make kind of a knife edge on on this piece first and then when I do that I clean up these notches so I have this whole area to use without any snagging okay so I start with that Now I'll uh, thin it down a little bit because it's way too thick. This thin bamboo is not ideal for doing fire saw because it's way too thin. Well, the thickness of this material or the walls are quite similar to bigger bamboo but it's a little bit more fiddly 
to make this uh, sharp edge that we want because it's uh, it's too shallow but it will work and I also tend to make this tip uh, like a screwdriver so it will stay within the bark so it won't slide out for me like so it should stay the good angle what I want to do is to make this uh, not too wide I thinning it out on the inside on the outside to make it as even as possible uh, down here because you will grind it down and when it starts to get too thick um, you won't get much coals and the best friction you just get well you'll get too much friction and not concentrate it that's why I do this when we're doing things like this we also want to have some uh, tinder to to make the ember catch into so we make this out of the same stick first we scrape off the outer layer the hard crispy layer and now we start scraping like so and you can see it build up some fine material in both ends and that's what we want like so Preferably you do this before you split it because it's easier then. And now on this ball you want to break down the fibers. Make a little ball. Open it up. And do that several times until you're so, satisfied with the result. This is quite good. Okay, now let's go to the next part. This is the one you're gonna hold the ember, make the ember with. So I scrape out this inner stuff in the area where I wanna make the ember. In this case, in the middle, it don't need to be in the middle. Then I take my knife in the middle of the um, yeah, middle of the half piper and start holding it out a little bit. Like so. And Kind of make a funnel to make room for my ember to grow, just like you start on a bow drill set. You just want to make a groove like this, and then I continue with my knife, putting a finger on the back side so I can feel when the tip is going through. Because you don't want too much to be whole, you just want a little one to begin with. Now I can feel the knife tip somewhere here. There it is. And then I make this small uh, 
groove to start. And if you can see this, you can barely see the little hole there. And that's all, uh, all there is. This is the other side. I use my belt as the pressure point towards my body so I won't be stabbed by my own bamboo piece. And I also find a place in a, in a tree. You can also do it in your car, you do it on a tire and rim on your car. It works fine. Then I take my other piece and the fluffed up stuff I got. I just put it on and take a twig just to keep it there, like so, above the groove. Then I start rubbing it back and forth on this. Uh, knife edge I made on this bamboo. I keep on steady and easy until um, some places of this edge starting to get dark and dark brown to black. Then it can go much harder on on that area because that area is the one with most um, with most uh, friction. First of all, I'm just building up heat. It's starting to smell, but I can't see any smoke yet. See the color. I'm getting a little bit darker now. Not much, but a little bit. Up a little bit to see the different smoke. You can see the middle part, here is the darkest part. He's smoking. <laughs> Sometimes the ember stick into the hole, so you have to release it. Yeah, still smoking. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was able to turn off the camera here. 
it's a, it's a very little glow. Gonna do this. <sighs> Bridge Park. Looks like the bamboo stuff doesn't catch fire very well, just glows. Oh. Use your bamboo firewood at least. So, this is how you can make plow sticks into life saving fire. Even though the bamboo shavings doesn't catch fire very easy, bamboo itself burns very well. If I done this with some spruce branches, they would have gone out. So to sum up this method, as you can see the um, shavings from the bamboo didn't catch fire really, it's just uh, a smoldering. It was holding an ember very well, but um, it was only smoldering. So you need something else to catch fire. I know it's possible to make make the shavings catch fire too, but it didn't on this. It did not do that on this uh, plastic from the road. So that means uh, it might be a little bit too moist. But still, there are other stuff that can be used to catch fire. Um, if you don't have birch bark available or something like that, it's always some. You always have some candy wrappers, papers, old parking uh, tickets maybe in your car that can be useful uh, for this. Or on your body, you may have some snuff paper or something that uh, in your pocket. There's always something you can use. So I hope you liked it and. Uh, Remember to check my channel from time to time. I try to put up some videos now and then. So, and please follow for more uh, useful information about uh, survival and, and bushcraft stuff. So, take care. See you soon.